Welcome to our coffee lecture and welcome to my colleague, Dr. Mark von Gerndl. He is information specialist at the team Research Support Service Medicine and Science. And probably some of you may already know him as a lecturer in various curriculum courses or as a collaborator in evidence synthesis project where he advises you and gives support in systematic literature searching, protocol development, documentation and screening tools. Mark will present you RefHunder, which is an online source for bibliographic databases and search interfaces, hence a database for databases. Thank you, Michelle, for the kind introduction. Um, today, uh, we will talk about RefHunter. As you said, a database of databases. This is a, a nice tool for the systematic literature search. And let's dive right into it. Uh, RefHunter can be found under the URL that you see now, refhunter.org. And as it says on its webpage, it's a, it's a community-driven information portal for systematic literature searching. That means, in other words, it's a free index of literature databases relevant to this. And as such, it provides useful information um, about the databases, such as the document types that you can find there, like journal articles and conference abstracts and so on. Whether you have to pay for it or not, maybe technical ad advice, uh, like the search fields and operators and, and syntax that you can use to search, and also the subjects that are covered. There are also technical hints about um, like export options, uh, export formats, and, and, and so on, because this is very different from database to database and can be very tricky at times. So this will all be shown in a short demo later. Uh, but first, let me introduce the, um, the main authors, the, uh, the inventors of the Rep Hunter. These are my colleagues, Thomas Nordhausen and Julian Hirt. They are both uh, also information specialists in um, and evidence synthesis advisors, so to speak, for um, for medicine. And they came up with the Ref Hunter um, a few years ago. And in the early days, the Ref Hunter was not um, not much more than a, a PDF file, like you can see here. It was a, a printable, portable PDF file, a very sophisticated one with a lot of cross references and links and references and and what have you. And at some point, they um, they figured it was too too large to maintain as a PDF. It, it was not not uh, not handy anymore, and so they they switched to the platform that I'm going to show you today. So this manual consisted of may, maybe two parts. Um, the first part was a a guidance for systematic literature search, which is um, has gone a bit into the background, but um, which I will show you in a minute. Mostly, it's known for its uh, database information sheets or data sheets. I have to emphasize that this is a German-speaking resource, so I hope this won't uh, won't prevent you from using it. But as of now, it's uh, it's first and foremost German-speaking. Apart from that, it contains a lot of valuable information, as I've said, like um, the type of database, um, the accessibility, the topics that are covered, technical issues, and so on. So this is what it looked like in the old days, and nowadays it's a web page. We will see this live um, in a few minutes. There are two ways to search this database for databases. Either you know the database that you're looking for by name, and you search by name, or you don't know anything about databases and just have an idea what criteria you would like to apply that suit your project. And then you can search databases according to criteria rather than names. As you can see here, there are more than 100 databases listed. So this is a very extensive list, I would say. And these, this list is maintained in the early days by, uh, by the two main authors. Nowadays, it's community driven. We will see in a moment how this is done. So when you look at one database, you get a short database description, similar to the, the slide I, I've shown you uh, um, a moment ago, which lists the most important key points, like the type of database, type, uh, the type of documents that you can find, and so on. There's also a detailed view, which contains um, the different functionalities, search functionality, filter functions, uh, syntax, how to sort your references, how to export your references, and um, special quirks of the particular interface that you're dealing with. I will also show you this in a moment in the live demo. 
Then there's also a clipboard, which allows you not only to store a selection of databases that you're interested in, but also to compare the functionalities between one another. Um, here you can see um, um, two different ways to search Medline and Embase, um, which makes four columns of this table. And this table contains then the search functionalities which are available in each one. Of course, the first ones are uh, always the same for, for these four, but if you, go, um, if you would scroll down, you would see a lot of differences between those. Then apart from this clipboard um, is also the possibility to export the, um, the results of your search as a PDF. So in the end, you, you can still get a PDF if you like to store it offline, to share it with colleagues, to have it um, ready for, for whatever you, you would like to do, even print it out if you like. And you can select uh, what database you would like to export in this PDF. Then there's also the, uh, the possibility to share the whole clipboard with someone else. So if you have, um, say, a systematic review or a scoping review, and you're, you have carefully selected some databases in RefHunter, and you would like to share this with your collaborators, and you can do this very easily without even having to register or give any personal information. You just take the, um, this small token that's written down here, this string of characters. You store it somewhere, send it per, per email or whatever. And later on, you, um, you put it back into um, the, the field Merkliste importieren, yeah, where you can just add the token and re-import the Merkliste. I can show this in a minute too. So if you um, later on watch this, uh, this recording or have the slides ready, you can enter this um, number here or this, this string and try it out for yourself. As I said, uh, the first part of the Ref Hunter was actually a guidance for, for doing systematic literature search. And there is still this area with the 10 steps to systematic literature, literature search. It's a manual how to proceed um, from the very beginning to the very end. And it's still there. It's uh, well written. It's written in German, uh, obviously. But uh, if you've ever attended one of our courses, you uh, will probably be very familiar with these uh, concepts that are laid out here. So um, uh, be, sure, be sure to, to check out this, this manual um, and recommend it to your students if they should try to start out on their own. There's also a protocol, which I can't really tell you much about, but just see for yourself. There's also um, a quick glossary with the most important terms of literature searching. Then last but not least, as I said, it's a community-driven portal now uh, because of its extensive uh, yeah, range of, uh, of databases. It's hard to maintain by only two people. So the idea of RefHunter nowadays is to have the community contribute as well. So whenever you have some knowledge about databases, which is um, missing here, you can contact the authors and add it to, uh, to the work. If you have a database available that is uh, missing entirely, then you can set up a whole new fact sheet on your own and contribute. Apart from that, there's also a forum for all the users and contributors who can exchange and uh, get involved with one another. And now let's go for a quick demonstration. If you would like, you can uh, come along and go to refhunter.org. You will see the landing page that uh, we've seen earlier. It's, uh, it has the search by name, search by criteria. And if you scroll down, you will see the 106 currently listed uh, databases here. So if we go by name, we can just start typing. Let's scroll down a bit that we can see what happens. If I type in Medline, the list uh, is reduced immediately to five different surfaces, uh, like uh, interfaces where you can search Medline. If you have no idea what the differences are, you're in luck. You just add all of these databases or one by one to your clipboard and have a look at the clipboard. You then get the short, the short version of the database fact sheet, as I've told you, for each one. You can go then um, for, for each one to the detailed view, if you like, and have a look at the different uh, possibilities there. You can also um, have a comparison, as I've shown you, this nice table. You can um, compare at most uh, four different databases. And this list is quite, um, quite thorough. You have either a check mark or an X, depending on what functionality is available in what database. 
So this is quite handy if you have no idea, uh, if you have different uh, options and have no idea uh, which one to take, this is the way to go. This can also, uh, also be exported as a PDF, as I've told you. Um, there's the possibility to individually add the different um, interfaces and also the comparison and then export a PDF. I won't show you this, this is very trivial. Then there's the export and import of the Merkliste, as I've told you before. Um, I can quickly demonstrate by copying this token. Then I go back and empty the, the list. Now nothing is here. And then I go back to the export import, add the token again, and there we are back where we started the whole list. So this is very handy. You don't have to register anything. That's the, the main part about the databases. Then here on the very top, you find the, the research guides. So the different steps of performing a systematic literature search, which, uh, which is very well done. A lot of screenshots, a lot of examples and so on. Very nicely done. There's the, a short glossary, as I said, um, just uh, defining different terms here with links and everything. Be sure to check it out. Yeah, last but not least, as I've said, there's the community part with the forum. And uh, yeah, there you can, can get engaged with, uh, with others. You can contact the authors and contribute if you like. That's, uh, that's the, the main part here. Okay, so this is all I wanted to show you today about the Ref Hunter. I would like to sum up the three main points. Ref Hunter is a free and community-based product. It offers up to uh, 100 or more than 100 database fact sheets, and it provides guidance for systematic searching. Unfortunately, for, for those um, um, who speak English, it's just in German, but um, I'm quite sure that you can manage. The, the, the facts are basically um, well uh, readable anyway, so be sure to check it out. If you have any questions or comments that you're not comfortable sharing uh, here today, you can always contact me directly. If this uh, coffee lecture was interesting to you, maybe you want to check out our other co coffee lectures and be sure to check out the slides and screencasts of the past coffee lectures. And if there are other questions, now is the time for a quick discussion. Thank you.